Hello, nieces and nieces. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista. She is I, and I am her. And over here, we do mainly things fragrances, whether it's body or home. And today, we are here to do some fragrance. So, you guys, I've been away for a minute. I want to thank you all for participating and watching my shorts, as well as those of you who follow me over on Instagram. I do still try to provide some form of content regularly, but like I said, sometimes it's just difficult for me to get in front of this camera and start filming. So I think I'm well rested, I hope, and um, we can get back to our normally scheduled program. So this video is something that I script out and I created the thumbnail and all of that back in April, you guys. So this is a bun number nine fragrance video and I wanted to share with you my fruity floral fragrances from my bun number nine collection that um, I really enjoy now these fragrances are not limited to the summertime it's just normally when we wear our fun flirty summer like fruity vibe floral fragrances but as I say fragrance is very subjective so you wear what you desire to wear when you desire to so wear. starting out first why not Brian Park because this is the first bun number nine that I owned and this is like my third bottle I think one of my favorites if I had to rate it it would definitely be in my top five but Brian Park it um this is a very oody like wood fragrance it does put you in the mind of like a rose prick or a delina um exclusive in my opinion but it has lily of the valley it has some rhubarb in it it has some amber it has this really pretty pink pepper note it has some patchouli and the fruit note that is in it is raspberry but you don't get the raspberry at least for me on my skin until it really goes through the top and the hard notes once it settles down and it dries down to those base notes oh my god the pink pepper it holds its own it's there throughout each level or phase of the fragrance but it has this sweet hidden like um, raspberry note it's almost one of those notes that you have to kind of like know what you're smelling to get it but it does have a very beautiful raspberry note in it so again this is Bryant Park by bun number nine so the next fragrance is another one of the first buns that I ever had in my um, fragrance collection and this is Chinatown so this is Miss Versatility. If you have not checked out my full dedicated review on this fragrance, I will link it up top. But this fragrance is, is so unique. It's, it's very unique. And I don't think it's a gray area with this. Um, you either like it or you don't. Very polarizing fragrance in my opinion. Because this was not a initial love for me. Um, when receiving um, one of the bun buns in the past, it took me some time before I was really like, this is really good. So this fragrance has peach blossoms, it has gardenia, it has tuberose, patchouli, and cardamom. And honestly, I do believe that it was the gardenia that was kind of throwing me off. I'm not a big fan of gardenia. If gardenia is overly heavy in a fragrance, it's definitely a negative for me. But I do think with the peach blossom, and the balance of the patchouli. The patchouli, it definitely helps tone down some of this gardenia. This is a very different, beautiful like type of fragrance. It has a very sophisticated edge to it. So again, this is Chinatown by bun number nine. So the next fragrance that I want to share with you is an oldie but goodie. You don't, well, I don't at least hear a lot about this particular fragrance. I don't even think I've ever seen a person like share this as a scent of the day or anything. It just does not get a lot of talk in the fragrance community. But this is Park Avenue South. So this is definitely a peach fragrance. So if you're looking for peach with bun number nine, you do get it in the Chinatown, but you're definitely getting a peach note in this fragrance here. This has green apple, it has peach, it has jasmine, it has musk, and it has dry amber. Honestly, 
I have to be um, transparent with you. This is really not one of my favorite peach fragrances. This is probably the most peachy fragrance that I think Bun Number no. 9 carries. But if I had to choose this over another peach fragrance by a whole nother house, I would definitely probably be looking for something in another house. I don't know if it was the jasmine in it. And the lasting power on it, it just did not serve me or provide for me what I desire as far as my fragrances. So this is definitely one of those fragrances that you do have to refresh. But if you are a person who wants a peach fragrance, this is a bun number nine that has peach in it. All right, the next one is definitely in my top three. This is Coney Island, you guys. Oh my God, this is such a unique fragrance. And why I do not understand it's not as popular as I feel that it should be. Look at the dent, it's real. Under half, no, no faking. And this is bottle number two. This fragrance is so good. This is a part of the beach line. This is one of my summer favorites, you guys. Coney Island, it has this margarita mix note in it. It has melon and guava, so it's very exotic. So the melon and the guava are the fruity notes, and they are so exotic. It has cinnamon, it has some chocolate, it has caramel, it has musk, it has vanilla, cedar, and sandalwood. So just listening to me share the fragrance notes, you can hear how complex this fragrance is. But it's complex in a good way, you guys. And if you are a person who like to receive compliments. This right here is a showstopper. And this is, most of their fragrances are unisex, but I think this is a real balanced unisex. So it could be just as well for a guy as it would be for a girl, but Coney Island, this is so good. This is by far my favorite from the Beach Collection, but this is probably in my top I want to say top three, but we're just going to keep it safe and say top five. But this is, again, Coney Island. All right, so the next one is one that really had to grow on me. It's a fragrance that's set in my collection for a very long time. Um, it was almost like one of those, you know, I like you, but I don't like you type of fragrances. But here lately, I've really been trying to play around with the fragrance um, because I really have not used this fragrance. This was gifted to me. I appreciate it, hubby, all the time. But um, I wouldn't say it was one of my favorite fragrances. But this is Gold Coast. Beautiful bottle. Very pretty. If nothing else, it looks very pretty in the collection. But this is Gold Coast. Gold Coast has notes of lychee. It has apricot red apple, rose essence, watermelon, rose absolute, cedar, wood essence, vanilla, and musk. Now, the most prominent fruit note that I do get out of this is a really mild watermelon. But it's, I don't know if it's the musk note or the apricot that give it like this kind of weird fermented funkiness, you know, and if you're not careful, it could kind of like go to the sour side. But here lately, when I've worn it, I have really enjoyed it. This is another one of those fragrances. It does not have a long lasting power on my skin. But what I have done here lately is blend it with one of Bath & Body Works watermelon products. I think it was the Watermelon Blast. And it really enhances that watermelon notes and give it a more sweet fruit opposed to fermented fruit. But I do think that it has its place in my collection and I am really going to focus on wearing this more this summer and experience it a little bit more. So this is Gold Coast by Bun Number 9. And last but definitely not least, this is something that I added to my collection last year in regards to fragrance. But I did have some of the other products several years back. And this is Nolita. 
and I've also did a full dedicated review on Nolita as well so um, if you want to check that out please click the card above so this packaging is just so me um, I love lippy lippies um, I was really really gone just gone off lipsticks prior to the what is it panorama but it's like my love kind of suppressed for lipstick because of having to wear the face mask and all of those so it was like what's the point but I'm gradually getting back into that and really enjoying and adding more lippies to my collection but this is so pretty it has tangerine it has freesia it has lily it has some rose it has jasmine sandbach one of my favorites soft amber musk and sandalwood oh this the sandalwood and the musk in here oh my god it is so pretty and the tangerine you don't exactly smell like that orange citrusy note but you do get that tanginess to it that's what i love about the way the tangerine plays its role in this fragrance it gives you that tanginess mixed in with that subtle musky note and that woody resin sandalwood like a note and it's just perfect it's just it's just so good real good real good so good so i actually purchased me a body silk for this fragrance so again this is nolita by bun number nine so i hope you guys give this in enough time to go over to the bun site they are having a summer 30 percent off sale which is a really good discount on bun number nines all of them are not on sale so the whole entire website is not on sale you guys and it's not for the 3.3 um ounce it's not for the bigger bottle it's for the 1.7 ounce which is this size so i cannot remember off the top of my head which are i do know that astro place is one of them and i think bryant park is one of them but just you know randomly checking the site you can see that some of them have been sold out but it's always you know worth it to go over there and check them out if you check my community tab maybe about a week ago i did post it and i um shared with you some of my recommendations so um again if you're interested in any of the bun fragrances now would be a good time they are having a 30 percent off sale so if you have any bun fragrances that you really enjoy wearing in the summer especially but any bun fragrance that you like to wear and just tell me what your favorite bun fragrance all right so you guys that wraps this video up don't forget to go over there and check out that sale and give the video a thumbs up if you would also, if you're not a part of Nisa's Nation, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And do not forget, I almost forgot it's been that long. You, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.